Okay. <laughs> so this is uh, called Greet the Morning. It's a Native American water prayer. And the natives use some ritual like this in their various tribes. I learned this from a guy who's a Sioux. And uh, I've been teaching it to church camp kids for 30, 40 years, something like that. This is the way that they thank the Great Spirit for another day of life. And they do this all year round, so just imagine, you know, uh, breaking through the ice in the winter to do this, this ceremony. But this is, this is their entry into the, into the life of the day. And what they do is they find a body of water and um, the water, of course, is, is an incredible symbol. It's the symbol of renewal and it's the, actually the place that we came from because, of course, we're sea creatures that crawled out of the sea, so we're carrying the water inside of us. And every, every life form needs water to survive. So uh, it's, it's kind of, for the Native Americans, it's kind of like the, the communion that all of nature... The natives um, will go to the body of water and they'll get in. What we'll do is we'll get up to a, maybe our waist, facing the east, which is the the um, greeting the the sun. And they, they traditionally do this at at dawn. So they do it as the sun rises above the horizon. So we're doing the luxury version where you know, the sun has already risen. Uh, but they. For the natives, the, the universe is symbolized by the four directions. And so they start by facing the east and giving thanks to the Great Spirit for another day of life and for the, the sun which represents the source of life and wisdom. And then they, they dip and turn to the south, which is direction of that mountain, which symbolizes the direction of a connection to the other creatures in the in the world, the two leggeds and the four leggeds. And the and winged. The winged people, the finned people, the rooted peoples. All of these are part of the community and we want to have a good relationship with them. So we dip again and then face the the west which is the direction of courage and strength. And every day we don't know what's gonna happen. So we need to have courage to face whatever comes. And so they, they give thanks for the strength in their bodies and their souls. And then we dip again and face the north, which is the direction of winter. And we think about healing and rest and recovery. And that's a really important part of our life. And then, if you're really cold, you can get out because you've talked about the four directions. But they also sometimes will add two more directions, up and down. And so, I'll turn back to the east and, and give thanks to the grandfather sky. And the grandfather is with us all the time. We breathe it in. Um, the grandfather is the home of the eagle that flies around and looks down to see everything in proper perspective, which is something we hope for. And then we dip again and give thanks to the grandmother, Earth, from which comes our body and which nourishes us every day. And at the end of our lives, we'll give our bodies back to the mother. So that's the end of the prayer, but the the natives don't say amen because the whole day is their prayer. And they sort of close their prayer as they go to sleep at night. What they'll do is they'll strike the ground for uh, just an affirmation. That this, is, this is what I'm doing. Here we go into the day. It's a good day to die. And so striking the ground is, is an a acknowledgement of that.
So that's the ritual. When I go in, uh, the, the natives will sing their death song as they enter the water. We don't have that in our culture. But in the, in the native culture, uh, every kid, when they're born, is given a death song. And that's a song that they carry with them in their lives, that they sing when they're full of joy or when they're in danger. So, for instance, a warrior will go off into battle singing his death song. And that's just a way of saying, uh, this is a good day to die. I've lived a great life, you know. And every day is met with this sense of total gratitude, which is really a beautiful thing. I wish we had more of that in our culture. So, uh, the directions again. East is wisdom. South is a connection to the rest of the community. West is the direction of courage and strength. North is the direction of healing and rest and renewal. Grandfather sky, grandmother rest. Here we go.
Ah, so invigorating. Um, the reason you didn't see me strike the ground is because I do it underwater.